God allocates resources and also gives you what it takes to command those resources. If you look at the life of Joseph, God did not only allocate to him a position to be the prime minister of Egypt. God gave him what it takes to command that office. The resources that God appointed for Joseph, he gave him a position, gifts that was necessary to command those resources. He gave him trainings. You know, Joseph was not just all about dreams and interpretation of dreams. He has administrative skill and knowledge. He could manage a nation's resources. So manage it that in the days of abundance, they had much stored enough for seven years of famine. Imagine Nigeria doesn't earn any resource for the next seven years. <laughs> Only God will help us. Because now we are even borrowing to fund the budget. May the Lord bring the Josephs in our nation to the seat of power in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. For seven years, not one seed grew in Egypt. But not only was Egypt sustained, they sustained nations around them. Right. <laughs> My God, that is an unusual knowledge, ability, and skill to manage resources. Joseph had it. Not only that, Joseph taught the elders of Egypt wisdom. So he has ability to transmit knowledge, to communicate wisdom. He didn't just stand as a giant and he had dwarfs all around him. No, he was able to migrate them from that level of mediocrity to the level of excellence. Each one of them were... They were trained, taught, to the point that they began to manifest wisdom. So he had an army of wise men working with him. Not men who don't know their left from their right. Like we see today. So I want you to pray. There is an idea, an ability, a knowledge, a skill, an opportunity that God has appointed will help you command resources and this morning you are going to pray for the manifestation of that which god has ordained it could be a gift it could be knowledge it could be an idea idea they say rules the world god can give you one idea that will make you a billionaire one idea that will make you a billionaire that will change your story Imagine God gives you the idea of the cure for COVID-19. Will all nations of the earth buy from you? The cure, not vaccine, the cure. <laughs> There's one thing that can cure COVID-19. That can end that virus called coronavirus. Would, would terminate its lifespan. One thing. And yet he's hidden from the eyes of men. But he's not hidden from God. So this morning you are going to lift up a cry. In, in Christianity we've been taught in church wrongly that all you need to make wealth. I'm not saying it's all churches. But some believers have the idea that all you need to make wealth is so seed in church. And then an angel will come to your house with Ghana must go of dollar. And say hey I'm an angel Gabriel. The Lord just sent me to you. That are highly favored of God. You are beloved of God. Behold, this Ghana must go. It's for you. And the person will come to church on Sunday morning and say, Praise the Lord! The, the Lord sent an angel to me and he brought a Ghana must go. <laughs> My dear, how many have had such testimony? No, God gives you idea. He says, 
I've called Bezali by name and I've filled him with the spirit of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in making all manner of craft work, in making designs of works in gold, in silver, in brass. Just mention it. He had ability to do all manner of craft work. He said, I've called him by name and I've filled him. And when that guy, Bezali, began to walk, not only did God outsource the skill he has put in him, of course, nations hired him. You are going to pray. There's something God has prepared for you that will bring you to the next level this year. That will make you a force to be reckoned with. That will cause men to seek out your service, your goose. Do you understand that? That will cause the queen of the south to come hear the wisdom of Solomon. All that God gave him was wisdom and a large heart. An understanding heart. And the whole head began to look for him. Wisdom. Wisdom. A lot of people today are struggling to manage their life and resources. So if God gives you wisdom and you become a mentor, do you understand that? You begin to manage the lives of people. People will look for you. Say, my Father, my God, this morning I lift up a cry to you. The idea, the wisdom, the skill, the knowledge, the opportunity that will deliver to me the profit of the land. Lord, release to me this morning in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray in the mighty name of Jesus. There is something that God is about to deliver to you that will change your story will open the doors of nations to you there is something that god is about to put in your hand that will change your financial status that will move you to the next level lord will lift up a cry that which you have appointed for us that which you have ordained for us lord deliver to us now in the mighty name of jesus Tapaya na gotono le lu shata palagade ile pretene le kai pata la kunde bregedo le mi paya vene la taya bakana matonde e shata e shata e shata that which are appointed the wisdom the knowledge the understanding the idea the solutions to problems the skill the opportunity that which have appointed lord for our good for our joy for our promotion lord deliver to us now in the name of jesus thank you father in jesus mighty name we are prayed i pray for you this morning that that which God has appointed for your promotion to change your story to uplift you from that level where you are to the next level of financial burdens that idea to create goods and services that will give you a cutting edge over your competitors the lord delivered to you in the mighty name of jesus that wisdom knowledge understanding that will make you proficient in your profession that will cause you to stand out that will make you a benchmark in that career path the lord delivered to you in the mighty name of jesus and I pray for the opportunities, the skills that will make you a multi-millionaire. The Lord deliver to you now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. From this morning, everything you need to command resources, the grace, the diligence, the discipline, the ability to manage your resources. Receive it now in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. 
in Jesus mighty name we have prayed Amen. you are going to command the migration of resources to you this morning we've seen how God reallocated resources from Pharaoh to Abraham from the Egyptians to the Israelites in fact from Laban to Jacob do you understand that genetic codings are to change in Hanimas so that their skin color their hair could change and then the wealth of Laban was transferred to Jacob Laban changed the wages of Jacob ten times cheated him made him a slave instead of serving for seven years for Rachel he served for 14 years do you understand that? because he didn't want Rachel uh, Leah is Rachel he wanted he had to serve for 14 years for another six years he served for his children and when it was 20 years of slavery Jacob said let me go he said no he said I've learned by experience that because of you the Lord has blessed me there's something you carry I know I've been shortchanging you but now name your wages whatever you say this time I won't change it again and God said this time you will pay all the 20 years labor that <laughs> and slavery that you've put this man through you will repay so God had to change genetic codings got a popular rod placed them before the strong animals and that began to change their imagination change their genetic coding and then their skin changed so i want you to pray god knows how to command the resources to come to you he knows how to do it whatever he needs to do to migrate the resources he will do ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 9 he said moreover the profit of the land is for all even the king is saved from the feed if the profit of the land is for all you're going to command your own share because i believe that whatever will help you to assess yours god has given you the idea the it will manifest you will dream about it god will put it in your heart as a burden god will drive you with a passion that will lead you to your gateway of resources in the mighty name of jesus say in the name of jesus every force opposing the profit of the land allocated to me from coming to me you mammoth you prince of commerce you devil of luck i bind you in the name of jesus i cast you to the bottomless feet i break your power over the resources allocated to me in the mighty name of jesus open your mouth and declare this morning in the name of jesus in the maka every force agents of darkness every manipulation from the pit of air every mammal prince of commerce devil of luck contending with the resources allocated to me to our ministry to our members and partners we bind you in the name of jesus we break your own empower we destroy your work we disappoint your devices we stop your activities in the name of jesus we call for the resources lina katia prandos lamie prevegede elu shatapa lagia pranotosa lekente pranosia in jesus mighty name we are prayed in jesus mighty name we are prayed Amen. this morning whatever power is holding back what is due to you they are bound in the mighty name of jesus Amen. the storehouse 
of every demonic strong man holding back your promotion holding back your salary your wages your job opportunity business opportunity holding back and resisting your ideas your skill resisting that with God has deposited in you from attracting the resources appointed for you they are bound in the name of Jesus they are disarmed in the name of Jesus their hold is broken in the name of Jesus today we spoil their goods in the name of Jesus you are going to command the resources to come to you now say the name of Jesus every resource that the father has appointed for me the profit of the land the blessing of heaven I call them forth this morning in the name of Jesus I take delivery of them now in the mighty name of Jesus let them locate me now Makali Lesha Adia Prano Efata Lakia Prando Sayinamo Lelila Kondo Lei Pratana Ledia Pravede Lamika Tonda Bayenota Ila tapaye ilege de baratuna la matia prande le sikande e prevedo e prevagia pakanda ina maponde ya la lila bosoto no bagade bo la taprande la prande bre le mede boko la kaya bana e fetene la paye Lord we call for the resources now in Jesus mighty name we are prayed. This morning, in the name that is above every other name, I command resources to come forth from the four corners of the earth. Let them come forth to you now in the mighty name of Jesus. Abundance locate you now in the name of Jesus. The profit of the land, the blessings of heaven locate you now in the name of Jesus. The Lord make a way for you in the name of Jesus. The Lord bring you out of obscurity to the limelight in the mighty name of Jesus. And all the deposit, the grace, the gifts, the ability of God in you that makes for your appointment to the destiny that God has ordained for you that brings about your appointment to the position that will command resources to you the Lord stay up their manifestation in the mighty name of Jesus receive grace to turn your talent to skill in the mighty name of Jesus you will stand out from from this day among your contemporaries among your competitors in the mighty name of Jesus and resources oh resources resources will migrate to you oh you will not look for them they will look for you in the mighty name of jesus thank you father in jesus mighty name we have prayed can i hear louder amen, amen. glory to god this morning we want to still pray we want to deal with the lord is showing me a snail so we want to deal with slow progress whatever is limiting your progress whatever is stagnating your progress whatever is hindering your moving forward whatever is bringing about retrogression trying to take you five years ten years backward this morning it has to come to an end in the mighty name of jesus say my father my god whatever sin transgression iniquity in my life in my bloodline that is making room for retrogression for stagnancy for slow progress in my life lord by your mercy have mercy oh god forgive cleanse us with the blood of jesus open your mouth and pray in the name of jesus lord will lift up a cry to you this morning whatever sin transgression iniquity whatever lawlessness is in our bloodline all lawlessness is sin lord that is given satan the legal right to oppose to contain to hinder our progress law to bring about retrogression to bring about limitation to bring about slow progress to bring about stagnation in the 
name of Jesus we seek your mercy we seek your forgiveness Lord cleanse us with the blood of Jesus Lord sanctify us this morning in the mighty name of Jesus in the pakayene makalabado ladipa tene brevegedo le tapane zayi paraga ikando ziprana le mefetoka la payegede le pranusa ikande baratuna ite sayabados Lord we seek your mercy in Jesus mighty name we are prayed say the name of Jesus you spirit behind retrogression you spirit behind stagnancy you spirit behind slow progress you spirit of limitation I bind you all in the name of Jesus I break your power over my life over my family over our brethren and partners over the work of our hands we break your stranglehold we break your power we disappoint your devices we stop your activities in the mighty name of Jesus la guia pradaba y que en de bocondo salala y le 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 boquie pasa vayas oh jesus let their works come to an end open your mouth and destroy their works in your life the bible says for this purpose the son of the living god was made manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil because jesus has been manifested and the manifestation of jesus is the destruction of the work of the devil this morning in the name of jesus we command every walk of retrogression walk of stagnation every walk of slow progress of limitation be destroyed in the name of jesus be destroyed in the name of jesus be destroyed in the name of jesus la pata la zenemo la ficanda i pranade ye kelu pata la zina matonda i le prade gasi pata thank you lord jesus in jesus mighty name we have prayed from the pages of my heart let my worship begin but never end from the pages of my heart oh let my worship begin but never end to the god of all flesh you are my god and your name is yahweh his name is yahweh yahweh is my God and his name is Yahweh your name is Yahweh Yahweh there is a technology available in God that causes a man who has suffered retrogression stagnation slow progress and limitation to pursue overtake and recover all Ahab entered his chariot his rose race and headed to Jezreel the fastest horse in the land was reserved for the king and in that speed he embarked on his journey to Israel and it was about to rain the man of God who has just birthed a national revival who was instrumental in the hand of God for restoring rain was left to be beaten by rain because the Bible says in the meantime the cloud became dark but that technology landed upon him hallelujah 
It is called the hand of the Lord. And it will come upon you this morning. Amen. It will supply grace and strength. It will supply wisdom and favor. Amen. That will cause you to pursue. Amen. To overtake. Amen. And to recover her. Amen. This morning you are going to cry out to the Lord. Say my father my God. My God. This, morning, this morning. Let your hand. Let your hand of speed, speed. Come upon my life. Oh that grace that favor that wisdom and skill to pursue to overtake and to recover lord deliver to me now in the name of jesus let Lord, let there be speed. Let there be speed. Let your hand come upon me. Let your hand come upon our ministry. Let it come upon our members, our partners. Let it come upon our online viewers. In the name of Jesus, let your land, your hand of God, mighty hand of speed, come upon us. Cause us to pursue, to overtake, and to recover all. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Oh, Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are still going to pray. I see resources, I see money being counted. You are going to pray. Jesus said, All that my heavenly Father has given to me shall come to me. All that my heavenly Father has given to me. He says, It shall come to me. That's the prayer you're going to cry out to God this morning. There are things that God has appointed for you. You are going to pray that they will begin to come to you this morning. Say in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for all the allocations you have given to me. Thank you for the opportunities. Thank you for the resource you have appointed for me. Let them begin to come now. I call them forth. I call them forth. I call them forth. In the name of Jesus. From the north. From the south. From the west. From the eastern part of this state. This nation. And the nations of the earth. We call them forth in the name of Jesus. Oh Malikanto Labayene Mepai. Holy Lord, we call them forth. We call them forth. We call them forth. Madia pranda gaye bokondo zala bayena ilata prande gede balakana makondi abrane lalita prande zepre gede bokondo lalata prando zeprana ikande preve de kalabadune leli se sabayash. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. The song is coming to my spirit. In the morning, early in the morning, in the morning, I will rise and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In the morning, in the morning, early in the morning, in the morning, I will rise and praise the Lord. There's a connection between praise and abundance. 
When Jesus gave thanks in praise to God, five belly loaves and two small fishes multiplied to feed thousands. The men alone were 5,000, apart from women and children. And then they gathered 12 baskets of fragments of bread and fishes. He did what? He gave thanks. The Bible says, let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. He said, then shall the earth yield an increase. God shall bless us. And the ends of the earth, the people of the earth will fear him. This morning you are going to pray. Say, my father, I thank you for abundance. I give you praise. I celebrate you for influence of resources. My great into me now. Oh, I thank you for opportunities. Thank you for ideas. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for skill. Thank you for knowledge. Thank you for grace. Thank you for help. Oh Lord, we celebrate you this morning. We exalt you this morning. We worship you this morning. Ilatonde gaima praneka lata pravende galapano le si prande gai prano la ikande prevegedo le ti panda baya ile shatona. Oh, we give you thanks, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Give him praise. Give him praise. Oh, I see the fountain is flowing now. The fountain is flowing. The fountain of abundance, of resources, of opportunities. Oh, we thank you. We praise you. We celebrate you. We bless your name. We glorify you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed.